How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform's different from theirs. You're the Metal Gear Rex chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh. So you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh. Well, at least you're not one of them. Hmm. Are you hurt? Ah, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Liar! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? Aren't they just trying to use the TMD missile module to launch a disabled nuclear warhead? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. I... No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know. No. All the armament was built by a separate department. And the President personally supervised the final assembly with the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but... Are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So, this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launch that thing... No. Damn! Damn! I'm such a fool! It's all my fault. The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. 
He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father? He was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But in the end, I was the one being used. Using science for peace? That's only an anime. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower. But it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the base's control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by Kodak. How am I supposed to escape from an island? <sighs> okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl. The engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is. Over there. Oh no. Damn, they spotted me. Meryl, what happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... she was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you. What's wrong? You get all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I, uh, just glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. Your bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. An otaku is a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. 
And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. Yeah, that's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Sounds like an excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has progressed because there is war. And because of scientists' greed, weapons of mass destruction were born. But that's all over. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. Well, it looks like you've rescued Emmerich for the time being. Yeah. With that stealth camouflage, he should be able to hide safely. Gray Fox. I can't believe it. But the real problem is your niece. The way the codec got cut off like that has me worried. Something must have happened to her. You're worried? About Meryl? Not exactly. It's just that she's holding the detonation code override keys. They're our last chance of stopping that nuclear launch. You're a cold man. Your mission is more important than the life of your companions. This is war. Survival is the name of the game. Sometimes you have to be cold to survive. Yes, but... Snake. Either way, I want you to find Meryl as soon as possible. I understand.
still haven't found Merrill? Snake, the Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there, too? She's dressed like one of the terrorists, but that's just on the outside. The inside hasn't changed. Watch for the way she walks.
Don't move. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. <laughs> Your Meryl. There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so... feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. <laughs> Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I'm a fan of Foxham way back, when guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a guy who can only find meaning on the battlefield. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right. And you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield, the only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You can't stop loving war. Is it the same for all soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? <sighs> My Kodak was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? Anyway, how did you recognize me in disguise? Uh, I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Butt? Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So, Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's gotta stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear, or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Now, where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. I heard that Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north of here. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. 
I've always despised that kind of woman. I've always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father, he was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. And so, you became a soldier. I thought I was, until today. But now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself. Afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know... Take a good look. You won't be seeing mirrors for a while. There won't be any chances to wash your face, either. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. You lose, you die a dog's death. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol, too, but I chose this. Uh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Now you treat me like a woman? Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. It looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay?
It's a good thing you hooked up with Meryl. You should have seen the Colonel. He doesn't like to let it show because he's the boss, but he was so happy he could barely contain himself. I'm glad to hear that. Talk to you later, Snake. Colonel, your niece is fine. Thank goodness. We can't relax. Not yet. I know. Snake. She's quite a woman. As commander of this operation, I can't ask you to watch after Merrill, but... Duty first? Maybe I was wrong. Sending my own flesh and blood to war. She understands about duty. I know she does. But what I want to know is, what was the real purpose of this military exercise? I don't know. Like I said, I'm nothing more than a middleman. Is this transmission being monitored by the military? Of course. I get it. All the world's a stage, and we're merely players, right? Yes. But even players can influence the play. I just hope we can prevent it from having a bad ending. You managed to link up with Meryl. Good. So now you must have the card keys that will override the detonation code. You should hurry. The time limit is running out. You found Meryl. The Colonel will be so relieved. Thank God Meryl's okay. She's a tough one, all right. Although when you look at her, it's hard to imagine how tough. Uh, must be the walk. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad she's okay. I also got a card key from her. I think I can use it to stop them from launching a nuke. Get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. That's where the detonation code input system is. When you're trying to hide, avoid places that look like the enemy might search. Think about how your enemy is going to move, and then sneak in there. It doesn't matter how smart you are, just use your head out there. Snake, divide and conquer. Try to take your enemies on one at a time. Military rations place an emphasis on calories. That's why it's best to use them along with some other type of nutritional supplement, such as vitamins or minerals. The weather in Alaska is very hard to predict. It can change on a dime. A lot of people say it's the worst weather in the world. Snake, go with Merrill to the underground base where they're keeping Metal Gear.
What happened? I'm fine. Okay. Let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. me hold me snake what's wrong hurry uh, please make love to me Snake, Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out.
useless woman. Optic camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. You... you doubt my power. Now, I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. No, there's no need for words, Snake. I am... Psychomantis. That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. It's useless. I told you, I can read your every thought. You're a careless man, aren't you? And you're a poor warrior as well. However, you are skillful at eluding traps. Still don't believe me? Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. Hmm. No saved games. Your memory is completely clean. Hmm. You have not saved very often. You are somewhat reckless. I can read you like an open book. You still don't believe me? I will show you my psychokinetic power. Put your controller on the floor. Put it down as flat as you can. That's good. Now, I will move your controller by the power of my will alone.
Mantis, a former KGB psychic. He has powerful psychokinetic and telepathic abilities. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, he came to America looking for a job. He worked with the FBI on several cases as a psychic profiler. Five years ago, he was working on the case of a multiple serial murderer, and he got too far into the killer's mind. As a result, he became just like the killer. So he was sort of infected by this serial murderer's thoughts? In any case, after that he became sort of a psychic spy working for the highest bidder. He traveled all around the world. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. He can read people's minds. He knows every move that you're going to make. What should I do? I've got no chance of beating him. There must be some way. He's a master at controlling people, Snake. Don't let him manipulate you. It's true. Your enemy is a powerful telepath. But you've got more battle experience. You can do it, Snake. A psychic soldier, yes. Although they won't admit it, many countries have paranormal programs and use psychics in their special ops. There is a wide range of abilities. There are some who exhibit little more than a heightened intuition. And there are others who can cause destruction on the scale of a natural disaster. But Psychomantis is one of the most powerful. Be careful. Please, don't lose, Snake. Please, don't lose, Snake. But Psychomantis is one of the most powerful. Be careful. Not everything you see with your two eyes is real. Destroying his spirit is more important than destroying his body. Don't let him read you. Be a blank slate, okay? Clear your mind. Is everything all right, Snake?
he read your mind with his psychic abilities. Somehow you've got to get around him. He's using his psychic ability to read your controller's moves. That's how he's evading your attack. You've got to do something so he can't read your controller's moves. Think. There must be some way. Socket 2. Do that, and he won't be able to read your moves.
brains out. Stop! Meryl! is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off. Right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake? Or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people. But that does not mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so, but I will read your future. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base, you have to go through the hidden door. 
There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers, then use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the pasts, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and that atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way, and that is why there is war. But you are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth, and he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> We are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just want an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen true evil. Snake, seeing you calms my soul. You're like the boss. No, worse. Compared to you, I'm like a saint. I read her mind as well. Merrill's. I saw you there. You have a large place in her heart. A large place? And getting bigger. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind. Before I die, I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. Thank <laughs> you.
such a nostalgic feeling. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl. How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're going to doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Don't regret your past. Learn from it. Regrets just make a person weaker. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? More complaints? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering... What? What's the problem now? Oh, no. Nothing. So tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone, just like Manta said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on, let's go. Looks like Meryl's okay. Thanks, Snake. Snake, there's no time left. You've got to hurry up and get to the underground base. You should be able to go north from the commander's room. Psycho Mantis. <laughs> what a pathetic man. He was born with all the right tools but he never knew how to use them. The enormous costs for the development of military weapons are obviously paid for by the public. Our lives keep on suffering financially because of weapons that we know will not be used. A psychic soldier. What a waste. I guess fighting was all he ever knew. What are you feeling sorry for him? Mantis had incredible power. Fantastic power. Maybe that power could have been used to make people happy. It's a sad thing when you see all that power being used just for war. Give up! 